lot of people are here saying, Thomas Cook saying um, about mental health and uh, Max Haley saying you're brave to talk about your mental health. I think it's something that is is really widely talk, you know, spoke about now and to talk about it, isn't it? Yeah, well, mine I sort of lived with throughout my, my youth and then... So you've had uh, it for a number of years. When obviously I don't know if I'm prying too much here, but when did when did it first start? What really young? Uh, yeah, when I was young. Yeah, I mean I I, might, I don't produce any serotonin, so I'm I'm clinically depressed. So I don't I don't produce the chemical that that makes you feel good. So okay. Uh, uh, when I obviously when I was a kid, I was boxing it and and kept fit and everything else. Still played. Still had a you know my family all played, so I played as well. Uh, and I was. I got to the final of the British Youths, and then when I was 16, didn't really like it. Uh, went and worked on a building site, carried on doing a bit of boxing, ended up working on the door, uh, got in plenty of trouble. <laughs> uh, but I was keeping fit, and that that seemed to just about keep it at bay. And then by the time I was 20, I had a bit of a breakdown, and then sought advice and medication, and then then started to just abuse the medication and then started to self-medicate using other types of recreational right. drugs. And of course, alcohol is a, yeah. uh, a depressive, which is why we all cry when we have too much beer. Uh, well, I do. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so then then doing a career, you know, having a career in darts was probably... I remember my first psychiatrist said to me, please don't tell me you do anything competitive. <laughs> and I said, well, actually, I'm a professional dart player. And he went... Okay. Are you any good? I went, yeah, yeah. I got to number three in the world, and um, you know, I was top six. I was, was about ten or eleven in the in the PDC rankings at that time uh, when I seen this particular psychiatrist. But yeah, it just got it just got it it, it got too much, and uh, I couldn't balance it all. I couldn't I couldn't balance the, the mental health with trying to be a trying to be a professional sportsman. So somehow I had to give, and then uh, I think I'm six years now, or coming up to seven, six years. Uh, medication free. Amazing. Uh, I tried alternative therapies, and uh, then I did a cognitive behaviour therapy course. So it's still there, but I know I've learned how to manage it. And as long as I keep myself in good shape um, and eat well, because obviously what you people well we're just discovering it now. Gut health has a huge impact, and the chemicals uh, produced in your gut on your brain. So. Um, uh, bad language, but if you eat shit, you'll feel like shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we've got some great stuff being sent to you with Pure, uh, pure Innocence. Uh, as you know, we've been doing a yes. little bit of work with them, and you've got some bars and some really cool stuff coming. And we've got a giveaway for you all um, coming very soon. Uh, VIP members uh, from Pure Innocence, a massive hamper full of loads and loads of goodies. Um, what made you decide to stop playing professionally and... Is it chance you're going to coup school in the future, or are you going to try it and qualify for the UK Open? You've got to go for the UK Open one of these yeah, times. Yeah, well, I, I was going to go this year, and then I had the, the three stretch factories in my in my foot, so there's no way I could have played in a boot or, or strapped up, and I couldn't practice. So that was that. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't think Q school is in my sights at all. I, I just enjoy my my lifestyle now. Uh, I originally quit just through just through poor mental health and. Um, uh, yeah, there was there was surrounding issues uh, with medication and everything else, and it's not that environment's not not a healthy one if you have got poor mental health, and of course mine was mine was clinical mental health rather yeah. than any kind of emotional problem. Um, so yeah, it was it, it was for my own it was for my own personal well being, and I just didn't want I didn't want to be in that environment anymore, and I, and I had to walk. Uh, do I regret it? Yeah. Uh, absolutely, but if I would have stayed, uh, would you be doing what you're doing now? Do you know what I mean? You, you've gone yeah. on to create a, a totally different career, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? Commentator, and uh, you're always in high demand on the radio, and you know there's always people looking looking for you to do work and different things.